Hi everyone, welcome to Camille's Holistic Health Show. I am Dr. Cam. Today we're going to talk about antioxidant rich foods and their healthy benefits. And before we need to know anything about antioxidant foods, it's really important to understand free radicals, how they form, and then we can talk about antioxidant foods. Foods. So if this is of interest to you, if this video really excites you, and you want to hear more videos like this, then hit that button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and get notified every time I have a new video coming out. So let's begin. Today we're going to talk about free radicals and antioxidant foods, the powerful foods that can really benefit your health and get you back on track when it comes to your health and wellness. Free radicals are formed when weak bonds between atoms are split. And free radicals contain an odd, unpaired electron, which causes them to be very unstable and react quickly with other compounds. When free radicals steal electrons from the stable molecule, that molecule will eventually become a free radical itself, beginning a chain reaction. Once this process of free radicals formation is started, well, it can cascade finally, resulting in a disruption of living cells. And that's really our living tissue. Antioxidants are vitamins like for example vitamin C and vitamin E and they are thought to protect the body protect the body against the destructive effective um, effects of free radicals and what antioxidants do is neutralize the free radicals in our body free radicals can actually come in many different forms including stress when when our bodies under stress Antioxidant um, lists just recently that the U.S. Department of Agriculture has come up with a top list of antioxidant foods. And I'm going to list about 12 of these foods that should be on everyone's list as the antioxidant food list for their health and wellness. Now, when we talk about uh, some of these foods we include fruits, vegetables, and nuts. And that is really a lot of the keto diets, um, the paleo diets, the non-gluten diets where people want to keep their health, um, reduce a lot of the inflammation in their body, and prevent a lot of glucose intake which causes so many different uh, in buildup of inflammation again, and then also related to a lot of diseases as time progresses. So let's talk about some of the fruits that are really related to antioxidant rich uh, list. So prunes is one of them and dried prunes. I'm talking about uh, dates and uh, other uh, dark green, um, dark, Brown uh, plums is another one. Uh, strawberries and blueberries and uh, can't get anything out of my head right now. Cherries is another. And these three fruits, that being the dried prunes, blueberries, and cherries are really, really high on the list um, because they have contain very, very high amounts of antioxidants out of all the fruits out there. And this has been tested. So very great fruits, uh, including anything that is berries at the end. Okay. So then we go on to vegetables and artichoke. Um, red cabbage, anything bright red is actually one of the ways to identify um, antioxidants. Anything with bright green or bright yellow, bright red, bright purple. Um, they, they even have uh, purple potatoes. Those are very high in antioxidants. So go for the fruits, go for the vegetables that have very uh, increased amount of color. This 
also shows that it, there are high amounts of antioxidants in it. Okay, so remember there are also russet potatoes, like I was just talking about beans. If you can digest beans, a lot of people can't, and then there are a lot of people can, and then you can also substitute out any of the other beans that you might be able to ingest or digest is the main thing and uh, and then remove the ones that don't uh, agree with you and brussels sprouts is another one that's very high on the antioxidant food list vegetables now we're going to go into the nuts and the nuts we have pecans walnuts and hazelnuts those are the top three the pecans are especially contain a large number of antioxidant compounds made it to the top antioxidant food list wow it's good to know and while we think of a lot of antioxidants are found in vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e scientists have discovered that a lot of other things in foods have antioxidant properties as well they are like minerals and um, such as selenium. Selenium, uh, a lot of Brazilian nuts have selenium, but remember, don't just eat a whole lot of selenium um, nuts, Brazilian nuts, uh, because uh, they're so potent with selenium. So one or two per day, because they're very delicious, you might end up eating 10. Uh, just remember that these they, uh, nuts, kind of like selenium, they contain very high amounts of selenium. So if you eat and digest a lot of them, well, you wouldn't know how much selenium you're being, is being consumed, is being absorbed in your body. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And then we move on to spices like uh, oregano, cinnamon, and clove. They are included in the antioxidant food list. So remember that as well. And antioxidants are said to act on free radicals. And um, that causes damage to the cells by stopping the free radicals from multiplying and turning other health molecules into free radicals themselves. Antioxidants help prevent massive free radical damage. That is the main takeaway of this video. Antioxidants have a link uh, for treating, preventing cancer and heart disease. This has been shown in studies. And they are also said to reverse memory loss. So those studies are the most um, important types of studies to know antioxidants and other supplements are really beneficial including vegetables including nuts and including fruits okay so we're going to move down now into the anti anti-aging um, antioxidant value and benefits that you can really get because chronic inflammation leads to damage in these cells like our heart, our brains, our artery walls and other structures in our body and it causes many different types of illnesses like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, prostitis, uh, stroke and a few other um, anti a few other aging processes as well. So it's always important to know the different things that can actually make an impact, a positive one, on your health and wellness. And this, why not start eating fruits, vegetables, nuts, that can actually really benefit your health and uh, make a great impact for this new year. So as you process food for energy, your body, you know, substances that are highly unstable sometimes, and the process called oxidation, and the substance produced, again, are free radicals. So in order to neutralize 
a lot of the free radicals in your body. It's the B vitamins, minerals, and enzymes are so, so, so essential for the anti-aging process. And all these nutrients, the foods that you eat, the things that you take, supplements, must include these different types of vitamins, like vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin C, E, beta carotene, comes in potato, uh, tomatoes and carrots, folic acid, and selenium that we talked about. So if you can't obtain all these antioxidant, uh, anti-aging nutrients um, that you need from your different types of foods, and you can't get them from supplements, then talk to your doctor. Your doctor may have some other recommendations for you using other types of supplements that can actually help, especially if you have some type of mineral deficient deficiencies or any vitamin deficiencies. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. It's a very short video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like my video. Uh, comment if you like and I'll get back to you and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel hit that bell so every time I have another video coming out you will be notified and don't forget most importantly take home message that if you are suffering with any autoimmune any other chronic conditions don't be afraid to go down a path that will help you to take control of your health in a more natural and more holistic approach. If this is your conviction, don't forget to stand by it and don't be afraid to walk down that path and take that chance because you only have one life to live and live it to your fullest and live it to the way that you think that you should. So thanks so much for listening and I'll talk to you next time in the next video. Bye now.